Hey guys, welcome back. This is a different kind of video. My nails are a wreck. <laughs> Don't even look at them. I popped a peely on each hand. <laughs> so we have a situation happening. But what I wanted to do today, because this was highly requested and I really wanted to get it up for you guys, we're going to talk about your essentials dip starter kit. And this is number one in my kit. It's a cuticle pusher. You don't have to get this one. I'm not even 100% confident where I got this one. It might be Peppy Gel. I don't even remember. But you definitely want something to push back your cuticles. That is number one. Push back cuticles. And this one has a scrapey thing on the other side. So you can use it to scrape up the dead cuticle white junk that lives on your nail. Because that can cause lifting and no one has time for that. So definitely cuticle pusher. Absolutely number one in my dip kit. Number two in my dip kit is a file. Um, I have a million of different files that to make a one in the middle is super old. Don't even look at it, it's gross. I think it's mostly oil on it though. <laughs> Cuticle oil, which we'll talk about later. But, so I have a bunch of different files. You'll have to find one that you love. I have everything from these squishy ones to the really gritty ones. This one I use for my shaping only on dip nails or acrylic nails or gel nails, never on a natural nail. This one is super thin. And I really like files like this for getting a nice clean cuticle line. I feel like you can really get in there, especially if you leave a teeny little gap. Perfect for that. So I have a bunch of different files. You will need a couple. There is no one file that will do everything that you need done. So definitely grab a couple of files. This is like a Buffy type file that you can use over your nail. Um, so files are imperative in your tip kit. Uh, next thing I would highly recommend is some alcohol. I know this is kind of a hot commodity, so I'm going to talk about um, kind of a substitution a little bit later. I put mine in this little bottle. Um, you don't have to. You can use it right out of an alcohol bottle if you really want to. But this is going to be a good way to clean off oil and dust from your nail surface. Acetone. Um, so here's the thing with acetone. This one is the blue onyx and it has grapeseed oil in it. So if you're trying to use a combo of alcohol and acetone as a dehydrator, which you totally can do, this is a, a better dehydrator. Um, because anything with oil in it, because the whole point of dehydrator is to remove oils. So if you're using an acetone that has oil in it, it's not going to work. You're going to have lifting. Grab a nail dehydrator or use 100% pure acetone no oils no additives so the next thing i'm going to talk about is cuticle sticks you can use this for a couple of different things you can push back your cuticles with it because it is double ended so this side you can use push back your cuticles it's great if you are doing someone else's nails because it's kind of one and done throw it away but i like it as i'm dipping because i can get a really clean cuticle line and around my sidewalls of any excess product and it makes the filing way easier afterwards. Um, another thing I'm gonna tell you to throw into your kit, if you want to, this is completely optional, is peel base. <laughs> if you know that you're gonna be taking a mani off in a couple of days, grab the peel base. I like UNT. Um, this is not for someone who wants their nails to stay on for a couple of weeks. Only if you want a couple of days at most out of your mani. Another thing you're gonna need is base coat. I know there's been a whole hoopla about base coat. What's the best? Which one do I get? And it's such a personal thing. Each base coat does something different, different dry times, different viscosities, um, different thickness, which is kind of like viscosity. But these are the three I use most often. I use the Virgo and Gem mostly on my natural nails if they're super short. The Triple Vitamin and the iGel are very similar. They're slightly thicker. So these are the three that I use most often and I love them, but there is an alternative. There is an alternative if you prefer using gel products instead of dip products, you can use a gel base coat. Um, if you're going to use gel liquids instead of dip liquids, if you're like dip flu prone or you have allergies and stuff like that, you would want to use a primer. This is the Mia Secret. It's a gel primer. Do not use this with your dip liquids. You will gunk up a brush. Just gonna tell you that. <laughs> Another thing you can use aside from the Mia Secret is the Young Nails. I've been really liking the Young Nails lately. Um, just really works for product adherence. It's only, only, only if you're using gel liquids though. So there's that. Those are the first liquids you're gonna wanna use. After you put on your base coat, obviously you're gonna wanna dip into your powder. Dip powder, you can use whatever powder you want. There are millions and millions on the market. 
These are a couple I happen to have on my nail desk. These are by Tamika. Great company. They're on Amazon. I'll have my Amazon storefront listed down below with every, almost everything that you see in this video. Clear. I am obsessed with clear dip powder for so many reasons. One, it's gonna protect your color from filing and buffing after. It also helps build strength in your nail. You can use clear with polish or gel polish. And then you're gonna need a fluffy brush. I have, I don't even know how many fluffy brushes. These are just a few examples. My big fluffy brush, the rainbow one, I use only for dust and for clear. That little brush is my ombre brush. Then I have this one, which is glitter. It has glitter inside, so I know it's my designated glitter brush. I have a brush for dark colors, a brush for light colors. I have a million different brushes. You don't need to be that extreme. <laughs> I just have to segregate everything <laughs> so I don't contaminate my nails or my powders or my brushes or anything. So definitely have some brushes. You can also, depending on where you're at in your mani, you can use a harder, stiffer, bristled brush. This is one that I have. It's really great for removing dust. You can spray alcohol on it and get rid of all the dust after you file. You can use it in between dip layers, but you do wanna make sure your base is totally set and dry before you go using this on your dip powder nails. Um, Cause you don't wanna like mush up the product or disrupt the base if it's not dry yet. So brushes, definitely grab some brushes. Um, lastly, not lastly, activator you do not need activator if you're using gel liquids if you're curing in a gel lamp then you do not need activator but if you're using your dip base then you will need activator so um this is just one again that i had on my desk i have a menagerie of different activators i use a bunch of them you do want to make sure to keep your activator clean because if you contaminate if you yeah see if you're going to use base coat you don't need activator cure in a lamp um, but if you're going to use the activator with your dip liquids you want to make sure that stays clear because if you're doing like a black mani and you use your activator it stains your activator and then you go to do a white mani a week later guess what's up <laughs> your white mani is now going to be gray because you've contaminated your activator with the black dip powder so that's why i like capping and clear too clear cap will help protect your dip activator next up on our list of essential dip kit items is my e-file now you don't need an e-file to do anything i happen to love my e-file because i am not great with a hand file but you do not need an e-file you can do all your finished filing with a regular old hand file you saw me bust out all my zillions of files earlier um, so that you're going to need for your finished filing you can also use a coarse buffing block this is super coarse you can use this to shape and contour your nails and then once your nails are shaped and contoured, then you want to use a buffing block only if you're using your dip top coat or a regular polish top coat. If you like to use a gel polish top coat, you wanna skip the buffing. The nail does need to have a little bit of roughness left to it if you're putting on a gel top coat, otherwise it can peel. But I have found that using the Young Nails um, Protein Bond can help prevent against peeling. This is one of my favorite no wipe gel top coats. I don't know why people use regular gel top coats that you have to cleanse with alcohol I, I, I don't know why <laughs> i get the no wipe i love the eye gel also love the nail addict la no wipe gel top coat um both i have found to be fantastic model ones is great too although i have found that the model ones no wipe gel top coats can yellow over time and i haven't found that with the eye gel or the nail addict ones yet so top coat there are a bunch of different top coats. This one by Nail Addiction happens to be the two-in-one base and top. Base and top dip liquids are the same product. You can use them interchangeably. So if you have an issue with your dip base or your dip top and you need to finish a mani, you can use the other product and you won't have any issues. So that's one example of a dip top coat that is like a two-in-one. Then you have your regular standalone top coats. Most companies do put them in separate jars only because of the contamination factor. It's super easy to contaminate your top coat particularly because it comes in contact with activator. Um, so that's just why some companies do and some companies don't. It doesn't really matter. It's all the same product. Again, different ones have different viscosities. So you have to figure out which type of dip top coat you like the best. And then when you're done, cuticle oil. I preach, I, and those of you who have been with me for a while know, I preach the cuticle oil. Um, this is something that's super important 
for your nail growth this spot right here on your nail between your cuticle and your first knuckle that is where the nail growth occurs that's the matrix of the nail so massage and the cuticle oil on that area every single day will keep your cuticles healthy and your nails growing so that's my whole menagerie of stuff <laughs> i'm gonna leave two photos oh and of course soak off i love this stuff for soak off i'm gonna leave um you want to file off your top coat first of course for soak off i'm gonna leave up here in the cards a removal video that is super easy to follow and it's super fast i soak my nails off in less than seven minutes super quick um and again this one has oil in it so it's nourishing a little bit i put coconut oil in my acetone too and i'm soaking off just for some extra moisture so that's everything i think that's everything <laughs> i oh yeah here's an alternative to the alcohol i was going to tell you about and this i found on amazon you can probably find it anywhere but these are alcohol prep pads i love these with my whole heart if you can't find alcohol because i know it's a, like i said a hot commodity these days grab yourself some alcohol prep pads and then you don't have to like overuse product and you can still disinfect de-oil and de-dust without a problem so i'm going to go ahead and leave two photos over here for you and you can screenshot them if you want to of what you're going to need for if you're using dip liquids and what you're going to need for if you're using gel liquids that way you can see everything um i'm going to down below in the description box maybe or i may put them up here somewhere i'm going to leave also a video in the cards um, of how I do my dip application with dip liquids and how I do it with gel liquids. That way you have everything. This is one stop shopping here. <laughs> I'm giving you all of my info. Come over to my Facebook group. If you guys aren't there already, I do have pinned to the announcements in my Facebook group, every process that I do, like set up like step by step you know on like a spreadsheet not a spreadsheet i'm not that technical <laughs> but i will have everything up there for you guys and we have a ton of fun over there in the manny fam facebook group so definitely hop on over if you would like to uh i hope that this was helpful in some way i hope this answers some questions about what products you may need if you're just starting out on your dip powder journey um most of these products you probably have already if you just do general maintenance on your nails uh, there are probably a couple that you don't have <laughs> uh, you definitely don't have dip liquids or gel i, I will leave in the uh, my amazon storefront there is a very affordable very high quality led uv gel curing lamp i'll also leave the one from iGel that i've been using and loving so you'll have a bunch of alternatives a bunch of different products and hopefully you have everything that you need. As always, feel free to leave me a comment, send me an email, send me a DM. If you have any questions, I am more than happy to help you guys out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, spending a little bit of time in my favorite area of the world, my little nail area. And I will see you guys in my next vid. Love you, bye.